Hi, I'm Jenner, and I help people get what they want out of life. For the past 11 years, I've been pursuing my passion for personal transformation, training with the world's top leaders and healers. Now that I'm a life coach, I get to share the most powerful transformational tools with you. And I have a knack for asking the perfect question. This is the Powerful Questions Podcast, where each week I offer a question to shift your mindset and allow your light to shine through. The questions will provide clarity and lead you down a path where transformation is not only possible, it's inevitable. To learn more about my work, you can visit me at lotusandsage.com. Now, let's begin our podcast. Hello, and welcome back to the Powerful Questions podcast with Jenner, where I ask powerful questions to help shift your mindset and bring more clarity and awareness into your life. So I hope you are enjoying the podcast so far. I'm actually having a blast doing it. It took me some time to really get it started. I had been in the conversation of doing a podcast for quite some time, and I was always thinking, What's it going to be called? What's it going to be about? And I think it was, well, it must have been sometime last year, I think in December, I had stumbled upon the idea about questions and how powerful they can be when we ask the right questions. And from it, I birthed this beautiful podcast. If you want to know more about questions and why they are important, listen to the first podcast. I really dive into it more there. So the thing that I've noticed about podcasting, for myself anyway, is that I always get a little goofy on the day that I'm podcasting. (laughs) And I think it's because essentially I am talking into a microphone all by myself and I can get a little goofy, which is fun. So right now, the way that we're doing the podcast is I'm doing all of the editing myself and graphic design. And my husband is doing all of the show notes and the links. So really, we're a family show. Okay, no, we're not. <laughs> I might swear from time to time. Okay, so anyway, that's that's my babble. I just, I'm hoping that you guys are having as much fun as I am. Okay, so on to the question for today. What is the most important thing to you? Now, it may seem very simple, but I want you to consider that your first answer is not actually what is most important to you. So I was listening to a podcast recently, Tim Ferriss, you may have heard of him, and he was interviewing Debbie Millman, who is a designer and a podcaster herself. It's an amazing episode, and I'll, I'll link to it in the show notes. But on the show, she was talking about how she was telling herself for decades that the most important thing to her was to be a designer and to be self-sufficient. But through reflection, she realized that what was most important to her was really living in Manhattan. She went on to say that she could have lived in so many other cities all over the world that would have been much less expensive and easier to break into the design world. She was living on a fourth floor walk up for, I think, five years, maybe it was four years, she said, but she describes it as being decrepit and the conditions were deplorable. So think about that for a moment. In one moment, she's, you know, spending her life and pushing forward in wanting to be a designer and be self-sufficient. But really, her most important thing was to live in Manhattan. What a mind shift, seriously. So anyway, listen to the show. It's like it's almost like a two-hour podcast. It's really good. She is a remarkable woman. And like I said, I'll, I'll go ahead and post to it in the show notes. What is the most important thing to me is really a question that changes. It's not like a life purpose. And oftentimes, like I said, it may not be actually what you think it is. So I want to share with you a story from my own life where this question really made a difference for me. Now, something that not everybody knows about me, in fact, 
only really close people in my life know, but I'm going to share it with you today, is that my husband and I have been on a fertility journey for four years now. And last year, we had three miscarriages alone. And if you had asked me this question last year, I would have said that the most important thing to me is having a family. Or even the most important thing to me is having my health so that I could have a family naturally. But if these things were actually true for me, then we could have adopted a child. We could have actually even adopted a puppy. A lot of people do that, that are on this journey as they adopt a puppy. The other thing we could have done is actually, we could have gotten crazy fit and healthy, but we didn't do that either. So I really needed to look at what was important to me. If these were not it, then what was it? And To ponder on this question at the time was a really deep reflection for me, but the truth was that I always knew that there was something more to our fertility than just, you know, doctor records and our health and where we were at in our life. Some people will talk about partnership and kind of question that a little bit. Is this the right one for me? And I have to say 100%, that was never something that that I really had to question my, I have, I am like, I adore the crap out of my husband <laughs> and he does me and we have a very loving and mutual respect for each other, which is amazing. So as far as the relationship part, that was not really it, but I still knew that there was something missing. And at the time I was at a dead end job that I really didn't like, and it was very draining I got into this a little in the second podcast where I was talking about living an authentic life. And of course, living an authentic life is also being in question of what's important to you. So something that kept coming up for me in my reflection was that I wanted to have a career I was proud of. And it really wanted to be more than just a mom. I mean, I knew I wanted to get pregnant. I knew I wanted to have a family. I knew I wanted to be a stay at home mom. I knew that all of these things were really important to me. And I knew that if I had gotten pregnant, that it would actually take another five years before I could actually focus on my career. And the truth was where my career was at, it was just nowhere. It was it was in the dumps. It was shit. And once I got clear on that, I could take the steps that I needed to to become a mom. And I didn't need to go see another doctor. I didn't need to take another vitamin I just needed to search out a career that would authentically fill me up and that led me on a path to becoming a life coach. And now I'm giddy with joy and passion for the work that I get to do every single day. And the other thing that happened out of it is my husband and I are seeing a nutritionist once a week to keep us healthy and on track. And a year ago, we were floundering between fertility doctor and functional medicine doctor and acupuncturist and trying to figure it all out. But what I really like about this is that we have someone to keep us accountable every single week. (laughs) I laugh because uh, Eric and I are not good at keeping each other accountable. The other thing that came out of me getting authentic about my career is recently Eric and I have had a really healthy and inspiring conversation around adopting a child. And this was something that had come up before, but neither of us were really ready to talk about or to have a conversation about. And now we are, and it's really cool. It feels really, really cool. So I'm excited about that. Now it's your turn. Take some time to reflect upon what is really important to you. It may help you clear the path for something that you didn't even know about, but that would totally make a difference for you in your life. To help you with some deep reflection, I've created a free 10-minute meditation that you can download right in the show notes. Go to lotusandsage.com forward slash five, the number five. It's short, but it's going to really help you drop into your authentic self, and to help you get clear on what is really important to you. And if you are enjoying this podcast, please take the time to head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. And if you have another minute, go ahead and leave us a review. It really helps people find this content and 
allows them to ask powerful questions for them to live their authentic lives. Now, if you're doing the work and you're still feeling stuck, not knowing what life looks like for you to live authentically, or you don't know what steps you need to take to start moving forward in that direction, I'm offering a free 30 minute clarity session for people that are committed to their growth and are interested in coaching with me. And in this session, I will help you get clear on what's holding you back and offer steps to start living your life with purpose and passion. You can find out more about this free session at lotusandsage.com forward slash life. Thank you so much for listening. I am in deep gratitude of your journey, and it is a true honor to be of service. Knowing limits you. Stay in the question. I am Jenner, and I will see you next time.